Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a very easy way of creating images for use in publications from Western Blots, PCR, Southern Blots, etc. in Microsoft Word. Traditionally, we might use a program such as PowerPoint to produce our Western Blot images. And in fact, on the screen in front of you, you can see two Western Blots for Protein 1 and Protein 2, labelled Control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This has been drawn in PowerPoint from the original JPEG scans of the Western blots, labelled in PowerPoint, and as you can see, a number of image components have been created in PowerPoint and aligned in order to complete this image. One could copy this image using Command C or Control C, and then go into Microsoft Word and paste the image into Microsoft Word. What this will do is it will paste the image out of many different components based on a Microsoft drawing object. And now what we've got is this floating image in Microsoft Word that will move around the screen, but it's very hard to flow text around this because you cannot have it in line with text, and also it's hard to place inside a table or do anything else with it. So that is not a preferred method. Another way of pasting in this image is to right-click and choose Paste Special, and from the Paste Special box, choose an alternative format other than Microsoft Graphic Object. In Mac, one can choose PDF, and in Windows, one can choose an Enhanced Meta file. Now you'll see that the image is pasted very nicely into Microsoft Word. The quality looks good. It's a single image object, which will move around in line with text. This is great if you keep a copy of the PowerPoint file handy. You can then go back if you need to make any edits and then repaste this into your Word document. But wouldn't it be nice if you could make this just as it is in a really easy to use format within Microsoft Word? Well, you can. So let's scroll down. Here on the second page, I have the same two Western blot images taken from a research project. I want to create a figure that looks like the figure we've just seen above in order to display these data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table. I've made the table 10 cells wide and 4 cells tall. I actually want it 11 cells wide, so I'm going to click on the last cell, go to Table Layout, and just insert another row to the right. Once I've inserted the table, I am going to do some cell merging to allow me to insert the images. So to start with, I will merge the entire top row except for the first column. We do this in Layout and choose Merge Cells. I'll then do the same for the third row. Then I can copy my images and start labelling. It's very easy to move table mar margins around in order to align both the images and your annotations. Again, using the table layout tool, one can easily change the formatting of your text. It doesn't take long to tweak the table formatting in order for your text to be aligned accurately with each of your images. I'm lucky that this western blot is fairly well defined. So I'm just going to increase the size of my fonts. And then the final touch is to highlight the entire table and choose no borders. Now what I've got is an annotated western blot within a table and because this is in a table I can copy it and reproduce it throughout if I need to. Of course once I've got it produced like this I can right click on any of the western blots and change the picture 
from a file on my computer and use the same basic formatting for other images. I hope this helps.